and welcome to the vlog. This is going to be uh, the second part of my cruise south down towards Milton Keynes. At the end of the last vlog I uh, arrived in Braunston just beyond the junction with the uh, North Oxford Canal uh, where I moored up and then this second part is to be going from Braunston. I go through the Braunston Locks um, and then eventually I get to the Braunston Tunnel. Eventually then I'll come to uh, Buckby Locks the and that will bring me down towards Wilton where I bought Bubbly too. But from there I'll continue to uh, make my way south on the Grand Union until I get down towards uh, Gaydon Junction. Um, and after the Gaydon Junction I'm going to be coming to the Blissworth Tunnel. Now the Blissworth Tunnel is another long tunnel. In fact it's longer than the Braunston Tunnel. So that's quite an experience. I'm looking forward to that one. Never been there through there before. Um, but once through the Blissworth Tunnel, I then get down towards Stoke Bruin. There's some locks at Stoke Bruin until I get down towards Cosgrove and Wolverton. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly where I'm going to be in the Milton Keynes area. It depends on the friends that I'm going down there to meet. But I'm thinking somewhere around about Fenny Stratford or just before so that we can meet up, spend a few days together, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, so let's see how we get on. Uh, welcome aboard and uh, let's get cruising. beautiful day <laughs> uh, but suddenly it's turned to rain and it's absolutely pelting down at the moment there was some rain forecast but hopefully it won't last all day I'm just coming up to the entrance to the Braunston Tunnel
Cruise number eight in the Grand Union. So it wasn't then long before I come to the uh, Buckby flight of locks, flight seven locks that would drop me down towards Wilton where I bought Bubbly two. So these two classic um, canal boats, one of which is the last wooden boat to be built apparently. And they're using one as a, a power and one as a butty because the second one's got a few engine problems. Beautiful. Canal for me, uh, this section of the Grand Canal, Grand Union Canal, I should say. Water's still quite shallow in places, so you've got to be a bit careful. Very pleasant though. Views out over the countryside. There's a really strong wind blowing today, which is uh, not making life that easy. This is a lovely part of the, uh, the canal, as you can see. It's fields and fields, just really out in the sticks. It's really nice. Well, it's a beautiful morning uh, this morning. Lots of sun, lots of blue sky. The weather forecast is for thunderstorms for most of the day and strong winds, and it is blowing quite a bit at the moment, to be honest. Yeah, uh, yesterday when I set off, um, I switched on the bilge pump and it pumped quite a lot of water out. And I've done the same thing a little while later and a lot more came out. And I'm putting the grease through the stern tube greaser and that seems to be going through okay, but it does seem to be taking on more than its fair share of water. So I'm wondering if I've got a, a problem with the packing of the stern gland or maybe even the stern gland itself is a problem. So I'm on my way now to uh, a boat wharf close to Gaden Junction where they're gonna have a look at it for me today hopefully so we'll see how things go. Well it looks really picturesque which it is <laughs> but the wind is really blowing all over the place. I've just had to pass a couple of boats and it's really really difficult trying to keep in a straight line so hopefully it's not gonna be like this all the way down to Gaden Junction. in this section the trees are giving a little bit of protection which is good.
passing under bridge number 40 and I think I've got to get to bridge 47 or 48 before I get to the, uh, the workshops. So, probably see from the way the, <laughs> the trees are swaying backwards and forwards, the wind is really quite blustery. To say though the sky is uh, more blue than anything else at the moment so fingers crossed the predictions of the uh, thunderstorms doesn't come true so I've just passed under bridge 45 so not too far to go now keeping my fingers crossed that they can have a good look at it and uh, find the fault and put it right for me. And I spoke to the chap yesterday, he said if it's just a question of uh, repacking the stern gland it's okay but if the uh, the bearings have gone or, or the shaft has gone oval or something he was mentioning that it will probably be an out of water job <laughs> which uh, could be a bit of a pain. To be honest though, if it's, uh, if it's that that I've got to take the boat out of the water, I think I would combine it with having it re-blacked as well. At least that would save me some money later on. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Look on the bright side. It's all going to go well. It turns out to be the stern tube packing that's gone. And you can see it's really dripping out there. It has taken the packing out, but I not see how much it's dripping. Fingers crossed. Okay, so I've just left the Grand Union uh, boat company where they've uh, had a look at my stern gland. Unfortunately, it was just a question of repacking. Um, really, really helpful. Lovely people there. The guy that done the job, super friendly. Didn't take him that long to be honest. He took the old packing out, um, put in some new packing, adjusted it all up, and actually uh, changed the nuts. There were two nylock nuts that were originally on there, and obviously they've been taken off or slackened off in the past, so they're not really doing the job of a nylock properly. So he's actually put a double nut system on, which is much more secure, let's say. So yeah, I'm really pleased. It didn't cost a fortune. Um, so yeah. Um, well over the moon with that. I thought it might be saying a little bit more involved. Okay, so it's been <laughs> quite a stressful day, one way and the other. Uh, what we're worrying about, what could be wrong with the boat. But fortunately, that's all turned out relatively well. Uh, everything seems to be fine at the moment. Um, but it is getting on in time, so I've decided that what I'm going to do is find a nice mooring spot along here. I'm about half an hour or so from the Blissworth Tunnel, so I'm going to find a mooring spot, moor up and then head off down through the Blissworth Tunnel down towards Stoke Bruin further south tomorrow feeling a bit more refreshed. Okay so I uh, hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Join me next time as I continue south through the Blissworth Tunnel through Stoke Bruin and down towards Milton Keynes. And as always a huge thank you to everyone that's uh, subscribed, pressed the like button and commented. It really does mean a great deal to me and I thank you all.